A global computer chip shortage has impacted vehicle production, causing car manufacturers to struggle to meet the demand. NBC 26's Noel Friel takes a look at how one dealership is being impacted by the shortage. In the midst of a recent car shortage, dealerships are struggling to meet demand while being in short supply. The new car dealers ran out of cars and there was nothing coming in. It just what's when everything kind of got shut down. Scott Laid, the owner of the used car dealership Westtown Auto, estimates his inventory is down about 30 to 40 percent. He says the limited supply at new car dealerships has caused a shortage at used car dealerships as well. The most difficult part about it right now is just being able to find good cars. The new car dealers are not selling very many new cars because they don't have anything, so they're not taking trade-ins in. And the limited supply is causing prices to increase. Prices have gone up significantly, probably 30% in the last year, and that's just because of supply and demand. Lade says he actually saw a boom in business amid the pandemic. There was enough incentive in other areas where people were, were getting money and all of a sudden they've got an extra four or $5,000 in their pocket to buy a car, so they've got a good down payment and so people are buying cars. But although the demand for cars is high, the limited supply makes it difficult for those who are interested in buying. The shortage has caused many to have to travel as they struggle to find the kind of car they want. I had people on Saturday say, uh, we're just so happy that it's still here. We've lost three vehicles. We've sold cars to people from hundreds of miles away because they're looking for something specific and if they find it, they're willing to travel for it. In Green Bay, Noel Friel, NBC 26. Thank you, Noel. And you can find